Hello! This tutorial aims to introduce the most essential functions and layout of the learning management system used at Indiana State University, which is called Blackboard. Blackboard enables faculty to deliver online courses in which all materials, activities, assessments, and feedback are provided. After obtaining your login information, visit either ISU's homepage and find the link to Blackboard on the top of the screen or just simply type into the address bar blackboard.indstate.edu. It's also possible to enter Blackboard through your portal, but keep in mind that if you choose that route, it is possible that your access may get timed out, which could result in lost work. Enter your credentials and log in to the site. You will be directed to the home page. Here, you can view your announcements, courses, tools, and notifications. In the top right corner, click on the Courses tab to access the list of your courses. The navigation bar on the left side contains links to the main components of your course. Keep in mind that each instructor may customize these options, so be sure to become familiar with the organization structure for each of your courses. Some of the frequently seen navigation buttons include Announcements, Homepage, Start Here, Syllabus, Course Schedule, Weekly Modules, which are often called Weekly Units, Learning Modules, or Weekly Activities, Course Materials, Assignments, Discussions, Journals, Wikis, Blogs, My Grades, Tools, UJA Videos, Blackboard Tech Support, and ISU Library-related links. Under Announcements, instructors post relevant information that they may also choose to send out via email. What's called a home page often serves as the opening page for courses unless instructors set the entry point to be a different page. Do not rely on the to-do list that notifies you of upcoming exams, quizzes, or assignments. Instead, refer to the course syllabus and schedule that the instructor posts in the course. Many professors post the most essential documents and resources at the beginning of the course under the Start Here or Syllabus and Course Schedule buttons. Click on the provided links and check out each resource provided to you to get yourself familiarized with the wide variety of resources on campus. From here you are normally guided to other areas where you complete the first week's activities, readings, and assignments. Frequently, these are posted under the Learning Modules or Weekly Activities button. You may notice that most faculty members organize the content into weekly folders or units in which all the tasks, readings, and additional information are shared. Other faculty may decide to create separate buttons for course materials, assignments, exams, discussion boards, journals, or other relevant tools frequently used in the course. Instructors may require students to take quizzes and tests in Blackboard. To take the quiz or test, click the link next to the icon and read the instructions carefully before starting the test. The quiz may be timed, could be taken only once or multiple times, or may require the use of Respondus Lockdown Browser that will prompt you to complete additional setup, such as recording the session, identifying yourself, and scanning your environment with your camera. Discussion boards may be used in courses for discussing class material with other students and participation. These posts are not private. The posts are viewable by the entire class and the instructor. Journals, on the other hand, are generally set to be private, which means that your entry is only visible to the instructor only. Wikis and blogs are generally visible to all other students and the instructor too. There may be instances when you need to upload a file and submit it as an assignment. To do this, click on the Assignment Submission link and either attach a file from your computer or manually enter the assignment text under the Write Submission option. Turnitin is a tool that allows students and instructors to check the originality of your papers. In addition, it can provide you feedback about your writing style, grammatical errors, 
and point you towards valuable resources. To submit a Turnitin assignment, click on the View Complete link and follow the prompts until you receive a digital receipt confirming the successful submission. You can access your grades from three areas in Blackboard. You can see your grades for all courses you are enrolled in from the My Grades link on the My Institution tab. You can also access your grades from the Blackboard Global Navigation at the upper right corner where you can sort your grades by date or course. When you are inside a course, you can view grades by selecting the My Grades link on the navigation bar. Here, you may access all the grades or scores earned for each assignment after the instructor releases them. You may view the total grade for the course along with the graded items, items you have submitted for a grade, and upcoming items you need to submit. A green check mark means that you completed the item, but it will not be graded, such as a survey. A yellow exclamation mark means that you submitted the item and it is now waiting to be reviewed by the instructor. A blue clock icon means that you have an attempt in progress or a saved draft. A red exclamation mark means that an error occurred and you should contact your instructor. Keep in mind that your instructor may allow you to submit an item multiple times. If the professor used a rubric to grade the item, then a View Rubric link will be listed. You can view your work by clicking on the title of the item. This area will show the uploaded files along with the professor's comments. Select the blue bubble icon to view instructor feedback in a pop-up box. When an assignment submission was required through a Turnitin link, additional feedback beyond the score can be accessed by clicking on the title of the assignment. Here, the similarity report, the purple auto-graded writing style feedback, as well as a blue instructor-provided feedback can be seen. Click on each one of them to read the detailed feedback. Inline comments appear in a manner that does not need further expansion. General text comments can also be added to the paper, which will appear by the right side of the paper. Lastly, a professor may leave voice comments on the assignment. To listen to the voice comment, click on the play button. When rubrics are included with an assignment in Turnitin, be sure to check out the additional information it has to offer related to each criteria. To send an email within Blackboard, Click on Tools and scroll down to the Send Email option. Once selecting that function, you can decide whether to send an email to the entire class, which includes the instructor, certain groups, or individual users, such as a classmate or the instructor. When you send an email using this function, you will receive a copy of it too. Uja is the new lecture capture software system at ISU that allows instructors to live webcast their classes or record audio, video, and computer screen activity, which can be made available on demand for replay by students or other faculty. Students can also post videos in their courses for the instructor to watch. Uja can be accessed through each Blackboard course under the Tools button or by clicking on the Uja Navigation button if the instructor added that to the menu. Should you encounter technical difficulties with Blackboard, you may contact ISU's help desk at 812-237-2910 or by clicking on the Blackboard Tech Support link on the navigation menu. If you need assistance with library-related questions or just simply wish to search the various databases, you may select the ISU Library or Librarian Live Chat options on the navigation menu. I hope you have found value in this tutorial. Good luck with your studies at Indiana State University.